The name Atlanta evokes big things. Big business, big dreams, big fun, big moments in history. Starting in the 1950s, good choices and smart investment made the Atlanta region a hotbed of economic opportunity. Atlanta has been, you know, everybody says, oh, Atlanta, that's where the growth has been. Um, that's where, I mean, it's, it's like this poster child. But the world moves fast. To remain competitive, we must move with it, and that hasn't always happened. Today, Metro Atlanta faces real challenges to our economy and quality of life. In health, we're ranked 43rd in the nation despite high spending. Metro Atlanta was recently ranked last in upward economic mobility for poor children. Then there's traffic, our suburbs sprawl, and the region is some of the worst public transit access in the nation. And we're getting older. By 2030, one in five Georgians will be over the age of 60. Now, a lot of observers are asking, how does Atlanta keep its competitive edge? I would love to see the larger Atlanta community take a look at the sites around them and just begin to ask, you know, if I was in charge, if I could do this differently, what else could we do to really make this an even better place? At the Atlanta Regional Commission, we believe the answer is about choices. Smart choices made the Atlanta region great and can ignite new success today. And the aging population is part of the solution. The greatest achievement of the 20th century is longevity. Uh, communities in the 21st century who will thrive will be the ones who figure out what to do with that. Today, many older people are moving to our region and others are electing to stay here as they age. That's good because analysis by the Atlanta Regional Commission shows that older people are critical to our economic competitiveness. Compared to new arrivals of working age, they add about three times as much to the regional economy. We need to build communities that are safe, healthy, walkable, accessible, welcoming, lifelong communities that are cool for millennials, appealing to boomers, and supportive of people who want to live here their whole lives. Obviously the model needed to change and now everybody knows it. You can be an early adopter or a late adopter, but the retrofitting of suburbia is, um, is what we'll be doing for the next 50 years. The Atlanta Regional Commission has been working for 10 years to support lifelong communities in places like Avondale Estates, Tucker, Clayton County, Morrow, Mableton, and more. We're dreaming big. Our goal is living beyond expectations, and we want everyone to join us. Recently, a lot of people did just that. In the historic Sweet Auburn neighborhood, volunteers worked for two days to add features of a lifelong community Everything from public art to public restrooms, benches for resting, fitness zones for exercising, and outdoor cafes and so-called third spaces for gathering as a community. At the Atlanta Regional Commission, we're rehearsing a future that works for everyone. It's exciting to be a part of creating that whole new future, both for the region and for everyone around the world to learn from what we've done. To learn more about how we're building lifelong communities and how you can get involved, please visit our website at atlantaregional.com slash lifelong or call us at 404-463-3333. Support for lifelong communities comes from Community Agenda, an initiative of grantmakers in aging, funded by the Pfizer Foundation.